Donald Trump got absolutely humiliated by a reporter in Washington, D.C., and it's all because that reporter exposed the fakeness of the Trump brand. Remember, Trump is all about image over substance in politics and in business. The way Trump made money whenever he was successful on the rare occasion, it was by selling his name as a stand in for fancy or classy or luxurious or what have you. And so this reporter noticed that the Trump Hotel in Washington, D.C., was selling more rooms than they normally have. And they went and they saw the following. It says, anyway, I quickly figured out the likely reason for the Trump Hotel DC's price spike. No, it wasn't welcoming part of the Israeli delegation. It was hosting a corporate event for a bug exterminator. And then it notes below, when I reach the hotel's head of security, he tells me that he's asking me to leave and walks me to the door. He said it was for taking photos without permission. Now, no one knows better than me that it's okay to take photos inside the Trump Hotel in DC. And so you can see what happened here. Donald Trump and his hotel and his staff kicked out a reporter because he showed pest control people at the Trump Hotel. It wasn't some fancy group. It wasn't some big foreign delegation. It wasn't a group of investors wearing million dollar suits. It was pest control people. And I have nothing against that industry. Those people work much harder than the folks on Wall Street, than the Trump family does. They have my respect. But the point is, Donald Trump doesn't want his fancy brand associated with certain industries that don't appear very fancy to a lot of others. And so, Donald Trump will take their money. Donald Trump will rent out hotel rooms to them. Donald Trump will rent out conference spaces to them and rent out banquet spaces spaces and dining spaces to them, but he does not want photographic or video evidence of the fact that pest control people are having events at one of his fanciest, swankiest, most luxurious hotels in all of the United States. And this shows Donald Trump and how everything being brand associated means he's humiliated when you can even suggest that regular working class people or middle class people might be around him. Remember, Donald Trump loves to portray himself as the regular dude, as the guy who, yes, has a billion dollars or more, but understands working people more than the other politicians, more than the Washington or, you know, New York or California elites. But at the end of the day, it's very clear the reason this reporter was kicked out was not for taking photos, because tons of people take photos at the Washington DC Trump Hotel. The point is he exposed them having an event that wasn't fancy, that wasn't deemed sufficiently fancy enough. So keep this in mind, Donald Trump image is everything to him. And he knows that regular working class people thinking that he's a billionaire snob is bad for him. And so this sort of proves it. Donald Trump doesn't want regular people around him, doesn't want regular people in his hotels, doesn't want regular people in his businesses. He's happy to take their political donations and pander to them politically. But fundamentally, he's a rich elitist snob, even worse than the DC elite he supposedly hates.